YouTube, hi, my name is Mark. This is Nixon Motorsports. This channel is all about motorsports, from racing to exotic cars, and even simulators. Hey, today's video, um, we're going to be installing a 16-channel IR tire temp sensor on the vehicle. So, follow along, I'll show you what's going on. Come on. So, why am I doing this? Um, let me talk about that a little bit for a minute. Um, so currently on the car, I have on each corner, each each tire, I have a single IR tire temperature sensor, okay? And I've done that for a while now, and that gives me um, a single spot on the tire, if you will, uh, real-time logging. So I can see kind of a relative heat signature of the tire. It's not... Uh, from an accuracy point of view, it, it's not, right? It, it doesn't show you, you know, inside, you know, middle, outside temperatures or anything like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm moving away from, and those were TechSense sensors, which work great, by the way. I'm moving away from that single channel uh, IR sensor to a um, IZZE, I -Z -Z -E, a 16 channel CAN based, kind of a smart sensor. And here's why I'm doing this. That will give me the entire width of the tire, um, full visibility of its temperature, right? So from the outermost edge all the way in through the inside edge of the tire, and this is all logged, of course, and, and shown real time. So um, that's what we're doing. Um, and the advantage, the advantage should provide far more accurate um, tuning for for the tires themselves so that's why we're doing that so let me show you what's on the car currently so let me pan over here and just show you so currently on the car these are the small single channel little IR sensors that I was telling you about and so this is an example this is an example of uh, the mount that I have for the front tire. So this actually points down to the tire itself here. And if I roll over to the rear of the car, here's what I have on the rear. And these are small little brackets. Uh, again, the IR sensor here, and this is where the rear tire sits, right? So this would actually shoot towards the rear tire in the car itself. So that's what I was talking about. So let me show you these cool little new sensors. So let me pan down here. This is an example, um, or this is one of the units, very, very small, four wires. So you have, instead of an ad analog out, it's, it's digital. So these talk on the CAN bus at one megabit. And um, again, this is a, a full 16 channel. So it's multiple different, channels in fact if i look at some of these see if i can find um you know so here's an example where it's showing the unit here and depends on the distance you are to the tire but you can see the um the distance um that it will cover so it's actually very cool but the these sensors themselves um it's, it's simply five volts, power, ground, and your uh, can high and low uh, to, connect, to connect these things. So pretty straightforward. Um, so I'll be mounting this sensor uh, somewhere here on the tire kicker pointing towards the rear and then replacing, replacing the ones that I have on the front of the car. So uh, let me get these things mounted um, and then obviously we have to do some wiring um, and so on, okay? So, tire temperature is extremely important for the performance of the tire. And adding these external temp sensors gives you some indication on the tire temp, um, but it's not, an, it's not an absolute, it's an approximation. Um, when tire manufacturers talk about the tire temperatures, they're talking about what's called the carcass temp, right? So it's that that inside portion of the rubber of the tire it's it's not the outer surface and um, so then it it, it 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 begs the question well why add these these extravagant 16 channel um, 
external temperature sensors for the for each of the tires <clears throat> and here's why and we'll prove it on track or at least um, we'll see data from actually doing this on the track to to um, support this but uh, if you think about if you think about the tire itself many variables affect the temperature and and, and so on um, but for the purpose of adding these sensors for me the the reason is it allows you to accurately tune your cambers on all four corners of your car. So if you think about it, you know every car, um, every race car usually has has a negative camber. You know where the <clears throat> where the tires are not straight up and down, right? They're they're angled, um, sitting statically when you look at them, and and the reason everybody does that is you want the tire to be perpendicular or upright when you're in corners. You want your grip, your, excuse me, contact patch for each tire to be absolutely flat on each corner. Now we're talking about the loaded side of the car to be specific, right? So if you think about it when you turn left, well, your right side of the car, the front right and the rear right side will be the loaded side in that particular corner. So back to these 16 channel temp sensors, being that they actually see the entire view of temperature across the whole width of the tire, with data, this should provide a great, um, a great visibility in actually adjusting each corner of the vehicle it's camber so you get your your optimum or maximum cornering capability out of that tire tire does that make sense so that's what we're doing and why we're adding these and um, obviously got to finish it up on the car make sure it's all uh, tested working right we'll get get this out on the track we'll look at data and we'll go through it at that point together okay okay so I have I have the uh, temperature sensors themselves actually mounted let me show you what this looks like so here's what I've done for the front of the vehicle um, so here's the front tire and I have a mount that is coming up this way it's mounted to the actual upright and um, it actually tries to get this roughly in the center of the tire so you can see it's offset a little bit but the uh, the coverage of this sensor should have enough to give me the whole um, the whole width of the tire. Um, now, you can argue this isn't the best place to put it. Um, in Formula race cars, in Formula race cars, especially the front, it's a little difficult. You know, where are you going to mount um, your temperature sensor? Some people have put them on parts of their front wings um, and bodywork and so on. Right. The problem with that is as your tire turns. Um, your your view of that tire is going to change. So having the sensor mounted on the actual upright, upright, I find you know to be the best. Now where to mount it is is another thing. So I have mine, as I showed you here on the top. I would not say that that's ideal. Um, possibly putting putting the mount so they're. Um, here on the back side of the tire is better. You're not going to interrupt any airflow or have any type of drag by doing so. The, 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 the downside of putting a mount on the back side here, the, of the front tire, is it's easy to, uh, to bang, you know, to hit while you're rolling the car around the pits and so on. So anyway, that, <clears throat> that's, uh, that's what the, uh, the mount's looking like. So let me get back to the install on this, okay? Thanks. Actually, really quick, let me show you the rear mount. So here's what I've done for the um, the rear tire. And so here's the sensor that I put. These are tire kickers, that's what I call them. Uh, small arrow devices to deflect air over the rear tire. So the rear tire sits here. Uh, I just put a small sensor in place here. Um, this tire is wider, so um, the distance from the sensor to the tire is important to get enough uh, to get enough um, uh, width, right, uh, for the entire uh, sensor itself. So anyway, let's get back on the car. Okay, so I have I have all the um, sensors mounted on the car, um, front and rear. I've 
made sure all the data lines, everything's working correctly. These are all CAN based, by the way, uh, one megabit uh, CAN based uh, devices. So just do a little prep on the car, get it ready to go. We'll get this thing out on the track and let's see what it can tell us. All right, fun. Hey, you two, hi. Uh, so we're gonna take the car out on the track and um, today we have those new um, uh, tire temp sensors that we're going to be checking out to see how well they help us see if we can adjust our cameras a little bit better So let's get in the car and let's get out on the track Okay, here I come. Hey YouTube, hi, so it's Mark. Um, did a couple sessions today uh, with the new tire temp sensors on the car. Uh, I haven't had a lot of time to digest it yet. Um, I'm looking at it and it, it's quite interesting. I'll show you it here in just a second, but um, it looks like it's going to be very valuable in, in trying to tune the cambers on uh, each corner of the vehicle. So let me roll over and show you what this looks like. Hopefully you can see this. Let me scroll over here to my screen. So this shows, it's pretty busy, I get it. Um, this shows a um, right-hand turn setup. So what I've done is I have two different screens here. I have left turn and right turn. And you see these little guys up here in the top? If I open up a track map here like I did and I scroll forward, if you see that little red dot, basically you can see where I'm actually turning and I'm turning in this, this moment, I'm turning right. So this up on top just shows me that I'm, I'm turning right and then this is my left front, this is my left front tire, this is my left rear tire, and you can see the, um, the heat difference um, be between the tires, and in fact, here's your, your inside to outside, right? So what's interesting here is I can look, and, and you can see where the, heat, the heat's building here, that's when I'm turning right in this case, 
and ideally you want to have even heat distribution. So I haven't had a lot of time, <laughs> haven't had a lot of time to digest this yet, um, but everything's working really well. So I will, uh, I'll do a follow up with you a little bit later and show you some of the data on MoTeC to see what this looks like. But anyway, that's it for today. Um, a short video, I appreciate you watching. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, you know, please consider doing so. Until next time, ciao.